guys welcome back to my channel we are back with another Dollar Tree haul this is the new truck day finds I will put the link to the shop with me in the comment section because I do not buy everything I see I was very happy with this week's local finds and starting with my favorite find and I already put one together this solar lantern now I did not pull the tab but I love the way those lights look um, here is the box it comes in you have to assemble it and on the end is the stake that goes in the ground but look with the string lights how pretty that looks so different from the other solar lights now I was watching Pokey's view and she was attempting to take it out of the box and this hook broke so it is kind of frail, okay? It's $1.25, guys, so be careful taking it out of the box. I'm glad I watched her video because the first thing I would have done to take it out of the box was pull from this handle, but it is very, very frail. But look how pretty that looks. And these will go in the front. I started my, um, what, what what's the name of it? My metal garden, and I did put the rest of those Timu flowers out there, so I will show you a clip. Um, I don't want to do mulch. I really didn't pull up the weeds and clean the area. It was a hot day. I really don't do dirt, dirt and grass and weeds. So it, that was unbearable for me. Believe me or not, I was not happy doing it. But that garden fit, fence came from Dollar General for $3, Dollar General. And that is the worst fence ever. So Roses has um, a... Uh, some garden gates so I'm gonna go to roses and I'm not gonna do mulch I think I want to do rocks but I've seen somebody haul a weed barrier from Dollar Tree a four by eight weed barrier I checked my one of my local stores this morning it was not it maybe I will find it on the road um, so that's exciting from garden um, items more outdoor items I did pick up this six count drink pouches with the flamingos and also the door banner for a giveaway i love this one however you guys know i don't do the word welcome so this would not work for me but i did get it for a summer giveaway i actually did get the crafting pack paper i pulled it out in the store in the walk with me and this is cardstock guys and I did not realize this is all of the different patterns that are included. There are 12 different patterns, two of each sheet. I always said I wanted to make my own greeting cards. These are like fun, festive, bright colors. Um, so I think this is a great deal for $1.25. Cardstock can be expensive. We got some simple, simply, or simple made items, okay, locally. I wasn't really expecting these locally, to be honest with you. I just, you just never know. And only one of my Dollar Trees got the items. I was hoping to see the other bottle brush. Even though I thought this would be rough, this is not hard like I thought it would be. It's not like that cheap bottle brush material that you might see, you know, from Dollar Tree. No, the bristles are nice and soft. Um, somebody said Sim Simple Made was at Walmart. I really don't know. And I did get the sink caddy. Some people are using this for their bathroom. Um, they're not using it for the kitchen. I don't know, it seems like it's very well made. I could definitely see you putting this in the bathroom as well. Um, so, cause I'm trying to figure out what this is. I was thinking, is it for the, oh, maybe it holds the bottle brush. I don't know, you know? Yeah, I think it would go probably down this way. I don't know, but your sink would have to be deep because this would be touching the bottom of the sink. So I don't know what that is for, but some people are saying they're gonna use it for their bathroom. So I did get those. I actually, I got four of the lanterns, guys. And I finally found this beautiful mirror. I don't wanna blind you, but everybody is doing DIYs by attaching them together, making longer mirrors, bigger mirrors. Um, I seen Bargain Bethany, she made a stand-up mirror. She also made, um, I think it was a six one. Um, put poster board on the back and she put it on top of her fireplace. I originally seen somebody do the large mirror first on TikTok and she used 16 mirrors and made, matter of fact, she made a married wall. Hers was more like a wall. Um, yeah, so it does look beautiful once you attach them together, but I was finding two here, four here, and I really don't want to do that. I, I've had my, I've had enough with glass. 
so I'm moving away from glass so I really didn't want to do that and food I did find these rich and crisp snack crackers these are supposed to be club crackers so I wanted to try them money minded Michelle did haul them she did a taste test on them and she said that these were pretty good so I only found one box on the shelf this was the last box so maybe they are good I did find the other uh, club crackers that we were hauling in the green pack which I absolutely love um, so I had bought them because I didn't think I would find those something else lemon pepper all-purpose seasoning Caribbean citrus with the kick this probably would be good in a seafood boil and I was thinking of using that spicy chicken broth from um, Progresso in a seafood boil sauce maybe you know using this to zhuzh it up um, yes, yeah, so I've never seen the uh, lemon pepper with the Caribbean kick. I'm, 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 can you tell I'm in a tropical vibe? I mean, it's not as sunny as it was when I went to sleep this morning when I got off of work, but it's been in the high 80s, close to 90s, so I am in the summer state of mind, okay? <laughs> My mind is anywhere else than where it needs to be. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I can't wait to try this. The new dog treats. I gotta make it pop. I need my damn, I need my, I need my money back, okay? These dog treats that mimic candy bars. Here you see the buddy finger. You see the buddy finger? I tempted to give it to Parker. This buddy finger is hard as a rock. I mean, you can't, oh, now it broke, but I mean, it just, you see, this is going in the trash, okay? This tricks. I'm not even going to waste my time. This is going back. I'm not even going to waste my time. It's so freaking hard. He couldn't even eat it. But I did get the dog stoppers and the pup tarts. I opened one of them and he tried this one. Yeah, this one is the one that's open. This is peanut butter flavored. Both of them are peanut butter flavored. No, cheddar cheese flavored. And this is peanut butter flavored. He actually liked these. And these are softer. They're tiny like little biscuits. So, yeah, I will most likely exchange this tricks one for something like that but you ain't gonna knock my dog's teeth out you know it's ridiculous hard as a rock okay where are we now it's not a big hole y'all it's not a big hole is that everything I guess that is everything that I got from the new truck day finds. I'm trying to think now. Yeah, that's everything I got from this week's truck new arrivals. I will put the link to that shop with me in the comment section because they had a lot of, of nice things, but I don't buy everything I see, guys. And I told you guys in my last video, I'm trying to haul with intention. I'm trying to haul with things that I intend to use instead of letting this stuff pile up because it's it's no fun. <laughs> Going through the clutter, the bags, putting this stuff away. Why did I buy it? I don't need this. You change your mind. And I'm not keeping things, guys. I am taking things that don't work for me. I'm taking them back and getting back. Um, I, I call it a refund because I'm able to purchase things that I, I, I do intend to use or, you know, that I want to use more. Real quick, unrelated to unrelated to Dollar Tree items um, I did get my new Timu haul and oh my god I got these beautiful pillow covers for my couch I have been struggling to find new pillows for my couch I'm all about the pillow covers because you could just swap them up when you want to change up you fold them up and you put them away and you um you know you could switch up your look so quickly you don't have to store all of these pillows these are so good and the third-party sellers honey they are on Timu buying this stuff up and putting it on Amazon I see the same things that I see on Timu on Amazon inflated price so I mean cut out the middleman and go straight to Timu and save your money but I get it you want these things fast sorry about the AC came on y'all but anyway, these beautiful pillow covers, I will show you when I do the furniture reveal, which I still haven't heard from them, so I made up my mind, guys. If I don't hear from them, today's Wednesday, if I don't hear from them by Friday, because I want to be respectful, and that was the rules of the collab, but if I don't hear from them by Friday, the video's dropping Friday. These pillow covers are gorgeous. I'll put a picture on the screen. The picture doesn't do them justice at all. But I did order some ribbon because that is my everyday wreath that I made from Dollar Tree using Dollar Tree items. I just wanted a green wreath that I could 
embellish, you know, as need be, take the embellishments off and it could last me through spring, summer, even the beginning of fall if I wanted to. Um, so I'm not making reefs for every okay, because you have to store those too. So you guys know flamingo is my theme. And I got this beautiful flamingo ribbon from um, Timu. And I will be making a flamingo bow. Right now I have a neutral burlap bow on that for now. But when I do my summer theme, I wanted some pretty flamingo ribbon. And it came actually in a bundle. So you got the flamingo. And it came with the green. And be careful, they close it with some pens. So I don't want you to stick yourself. So I could make a layered, you know, a multiple ribbon bow. Um, look how beautiful and bright these colors are, guys. Oh my God, my patio is going to be so freaking cute. So I got that from Timu. Also, I did run in Dollar General. It was not a whole lot going on in Dollar General. I mean, it, it just wasn't. I could share with you. I, I mean, it was really nothing to share. It really... I went there for paper towels. They had none of the big moppers at this location. But what they did have is in the walkthrough, in this brand new Dollar Tree shot with me walkthrough, I showed you the LA's Totally Awesome Fabric Refresher, but it was either in a clean linen or a fresh scent. I told you I did a sneak sniff. I really didn't smell anything. It just smelled like water to me, to be honest with you, with a hint, a hint of something. Well, look at this. This is Light Citrus Perfection. Oh, extra strength. Let me tell you something. This smells so good. It says for fabrics, for carpets, for the air, for the car. One dollar, guys, for this 33.8 ounce bottle. And it smells really good. I might go back and get another one. Um, yes, but some of you said, one of you said in the comments, you buy the other one I showed and you liked it. So, check for this. Also... Brillo, it's over now. I found somebody new that cleans my dishes better than you. Okay, so this is the new bay. And the new bay is giving us 20% more. It was a 10 ounce bottle, which was the same amount that Brillo was giving us. Now this is a 12 ounce bottle for a dollar. Some people are calling this a Dawn dupe. I've never used the Dawn dish spray. My introduction to dish spray, actually, I didn't even know it was a thing. My introduction to dish spray was that uh, palm olive stuff that smelled like the sewer. I could not get with that. And I found that in South Carolina, we were coming off a cruise in Charleston and I, we stopped at a Dollar Tree on the way home. I was so excited. Um, because it hadn't yet made it locally to me and of course I racked up and I ended up giving a lot of it to my mom and you know it just smelled horrible um, this is ocean fresh scent doesn't smell bad I love the smell of Brillo so right now I'm like you know I'm cheating on them with each other I still use the Brillo for lighter jobs but if you know this cleans the top of my stove great um, and it does clean in my opinion the greasier dishes better so they're giving us more so go to dollar general i wish i could take my 10 ounce bottles and trade them in but i'm not going to do that um now that i know they order they offer a 20 ounce i did pick up a couple of bottles and something else we never got any of the bee and willow items at my local dollar trees whenever i can't find a closeout at dollar tree nine times out of ten i can find it at ollie's and um like we never got any of the hair food products we never got, oh my God, this body wash that everybody loves and it really is good. It had lotion. If I can, I'll put a picture on the screen. We never got that. I found it at Ollie's, okay? Dollar Tree was giving it for the $125. Ollie's was giving it for the $199. I'll take it because that beats me burning gas driving from east to west. So we never got any of B and Willow. So I was down the curtain aisle just because Ollie's has really nice curtains. I'm about to hang finally on my bedroom curtains that I bought from there. Um, but look at this, guys. $2.99 for this valence. And for whatever reason, I cannot get away from black and white in my kitchen. I just love the black and white. My backsplash is black. Um, the countertops is that faux white and black marble. I just love it. My dishes, black and white or glass, I just that's my I just can't get away from it my appliances are black so this is a valence and this looks like faux leather the trim the black trim that looks like faux leather it is kind of looking on the thick side like it's it's woven basket weave one rock 
rod pocket lines valens. Summertime is coming. Maybe I want to hang something lighter, but definitely for the fall and winter. I love this. I was not leaving it behind. It's the only one I've seen. I wish it had the whole set with the tiers, but it didn't. Um, it's 50 inches times 18 inches. So 18 inches long, 50 inches wide. And um, yeah, I wasn't leaving that behind. I was rushing because I had to go to work yesterday, but I will go back in there and see if they got any of the dishes because that's the first Bee and Willow item that I have seen at Ollie's. Um, but Dollar Tree has had me very, very distracted lately. I haven't been going to other stores um, because they've been giving us great deals. And I don't know if you guys have seen, they have the um, Sesame Street makeup collection that Walmart had. People are finding it. There's palettes, there's uh, makeup brushes, um, there's mirrors, there's sponges, there's lippies, a whole collection. Do I think my local stores will get it? To be honest with you, I don't think so. Am I going to drive to Virginia? I probably That's something I would probably have to drive to Virginia to. Oh, no, I'm not driving to Virginia for it. It's cute. If I find it, great, but I'm not I'm not leaving the state. <laughs> but I come across it in my travels now. If I was visiting Virginia, if I was on the road on a vacation and I find it, great. But be on the lookout for that, guys. Because I believe Angela's Hall and Lifestyle found the brushes and she found something else. So I believe she's in Georgia. I'm not sure. So maybe it may come to North Carolina. Um, the person who posted this on TikTok lives in Kentucky. Okay, so um, Kentucky got it. And she, they had, she had everything. She had the palettes, the lippies, the uh, makeup sponge. I mean, the whole, it looked like everything. And she knew about this collection from Walmart. So I don't know. I sent pictures to uh, one of the Dollar Tree managers. Uh, so asking her you know look what's out there so i'll see i am going to be going to kingston to check their new truck they find maybe but kingston still doesn't get everything either um so you just never know but thanks for rocking with your girl the weekly wow will be dropping soon i just have to go through all of these bags that i've been hauling and put it together but be checking for it for those of you that are new it's not weekly the monthly wow is a monthly giveaway that i do with some of my favorite Dollar Tree finds of the month. Um, that will be dropping soon. I don't tell you when it's dropping. You don't know which video it's dropping in, but we're getting to the end of the month. I mean, this month is going by so fast. It's already the 17th. I can't believe it. So I will be, I will be dropping the monthly wow soon. So be watching. You got to watch. You got to watch. You just, you just never know when I'm going to drop it. It's just me showing appreciation to my cyber besties because i appreciate you and um yeah so be on the lookout guys for these items and if you have not caught that shot with me because life is just life i'm not you know you ain't got all day to be sitting around waiting for me to drop a video but i appreciate it when you do um just you might see something else that i did not pick up okay but yeah the monthly wow is coming up and that's about it guys the furniture video i'm dropping i just i don't know what happened it's like they dropped off the face of the earth and um, i'm trying to be respectful because when you agree to do these collabs they they tell you their requirements you know what i mean and i want to i want to keep up my end of the bargain i just don't know what happened you know um but if i don't hear anything friday oops oops wasn't me it was jerica um, and um, those pillow covers. Oh my God, if you need pillow covers. Now, this is the second set of pillow covers I've ordered from Timo. The first ones were the sponsored ones with the the um, palm leaf um, pillows that are going to be going on my bench for my tropical vibe. And these, they did not disappoint. Matter of fact, this is my third set. I got those pink and red velvet ones for Valentine's Day from there. I mean, they did not disappoint, and they are affordable, guys. Affordable way to transform your space on a dime. I'm all for it. And like I said, pillows, you know, can be expensive. Because I did buy two pillows to, you know, a part of this living room upgrade. And I paid $16.99 for two. Two nice big pillows. But when I get tired of them, I got to store them. You understand? So, um, yeah, you get a pillow cover for $5. These pillow covers actually were $10 a piece so worth it and on amazon they're selling him for twenty dollars a piece no we don't want that amazon price we want the timu price okay that's why when people say well i'm not shopping from timu i'm not shopping from sheen i'm not shopping well <laughs> you really are because 
that's where these other sellers are getting the stuff for for the low low and then selling to them to you for the high high okay and we don't want to do that we want to pay the lowest price possible so the more money you save the more money you have to spend on your bills your lifestyle other things okay need I say more so I'm gonna get out of here guys because the bugs are starting to bug and I don't do bugs um, that's why I love my little concrete patio I don't do grass I don't know how people sit in grass because my thought is that's where the bugs hide I do not want to be amongst them I don't and I know this is where they fly and whatever I don't want to be a part of that I don't want to be bothered I, I you know just let me be but you know sometimes they don't let you be okay so that's that also if you need ribbon um, for Christmas I got some gingerbread ribbon from Timu I mean it's more affordable am I saying that I can't find ribbon at Hobby Lobby or other craft stores yeah but I'm gonna pay a certain price and sometimes you can't find what you're looking for in the store and if you're interested in those transfers for the glass Timu has them for the low low um, even though I think Hobby Lobby's price is reasonable, but they just don't have a lot of variety. Like if you wanted something for a teacher, if you wanted to make some glasses for a teacher, if you wanted to do nursing ones, like for me and I spy, um, if you wanted to do one, you know, with inspirational quotes, like right now Hobby's Lobby, Hobby Lobby's inventory, they just have just a handful. Um, I think less than... 10 different designs and I'm, I'm 10 is a high number it's really less than that so there's really not a lot of options so check out Timu for your uh, glass transfers okay if you don't have a Cricut you don't be bothered with cutting and buying all this vinyl it's just more affordable and it's I showed you how to do it oh the Dollar Tree inventory you guys were asking me those of you who are new so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on the Dollar Tree website and the top left corner of the screen it's gonna have your store right you are gonna click on that put in your zip code right it doesn't have to be where you live you might be traveling to another store whatever zip code you want to search in put that zip code in choose a store in that area whether it's your town like I have six I can't put all six in but I could put one in right and then search for your item once you search and find your item and you scroll down it'll say to available today at this store that's going to be your home store or it's going to say not available and it's also going to give you the option if it's not available it's going to say check nearby so you would click check nearby if it was unavailable and just pick another store and i'll tell you today at this store available now here's where it could get hairy you may go to the store and not see it. And that has happened to me a couple of times. The inventory said it was available. I go to that Dollar Tree and I don't see it. Of course, if you have decent staff, you can talk to the staff and say, hey, you know, I checked online. First thing they're gonna tell you, oh, that inventory's not, um, they told me this, oh, the inventory's not up to date. Yeah, the inventory's not up to date. I remember last year I was looking for those um, summer ice cube trays, right? They came out with the pineapples, the flamingos, and they had another one. It was three different ones. I think it was clamshells or something, right? The inventory told me that my daily Dollar Tree, which is right across the street, had it in stock. I go. I don't see it. I tell the manager, hey, the inventory says you have it. She was like, oh, yeah, but you can't go buy that. Well, I went back two days later. Guess what was sold out? Because they had one of them because they come in a case. The problem with these Dollar Tree items is sometimes they come in a case with multiples and they don't break the cases up. And then I was told, oh yeah, we put them out. They sold real quick. The inventory told me that it was there. But a lot of times, if you don't see it, that's because it's in the stock room. You might have a good staff member. I mean, I went to Kingston's store. I told the manager, hey, when I was looking for the wood top glasses, I said, hey, because um, one store had them available. Then it said limited stock. When I got there, there was only one left. So I went to the next Kingston location, which said that they had them in stock. He went in the back and he got the box. He goes, yes, we have them. I was putting them out later. He went and got the box Said, how many do you want? You understand? If you have that Dollar Tree employee that's going to go above and beyond, but we really can't be mad at them because they are two in a store at a time, okay? Trying to ring people up, trying to stock the floor, trying to keep the store clean. I mean, they don't... So the easiest answer to give you if they're busy is, oh... 
inventory is not accurate. So I was looking for those margarita glasses that are coming up in my next haul. And um, the inventory says out of all of the Greenville Dollar Trees that my daily Dollar Tree that when I leave my community that's across the street they said they have them in stock. I did speak to one of the managers. She said, we have 11 cases for Cinco de Mayo. So I'm, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but we're waiting to put it out or whatever. I didn't want to wait. So I was on the road. I was out and about this particular day. So it said that the Smithfield Dollar Tree had them available. When I walk into the store, what's the first thing I see? My margarita glasses hanging. So the inventory for me helped me find some things that um, you just want to know which direction to go in, first of all. You understand? You just want to know which direction to go, go in, go, you know, because you could be driving from east to west, going from Dollar Tree to Dollar Tree to Dollar Tree. So, for me, it has worked more than it hasn't. I'll give you a perfect example. These beautiful cups from Walmart. The Walmart inventory says that they have the Island Green one in stock at both stores. I have two Walmarts. Okay, one down the street this way, one on Greenville Boulevard. When I go, I don't see it, but the inventory says it's there. You understand what I'm saying? So that's a big box store. So I have had Five Below tell me they had things in stock. I go to Five Below, the manager says, oh, we don't have that in stock. You understand what I'm saying? I have had them tell me that they didn't have things in stock at Walmart. I go, they've canceled online orders saying, oh, we don't have it. I go to the store, what do I see? the item that they told me they don't have so i think it's worth a shot so that's how you check the dollar tree inventory but thanks for rocking with your girl i hope you guys have a great wednesday i'll see you in the next video it's not goodbye i see you later don't cry that's not how it goes but i'll see you later <laughs> Bye bye